Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this uh, first lecture in a series of Florence Crowley lectures on the business of biotechnology. The music bed. Particular honor for me that the sponsors and the school have associated my name with this program. I believe strongly that business needs to develop strong partnerships with the universities. I'm going to take you through an exploration of leadership. And I'm going to take you through an exploration of leadership in the context of biotechnology. The support by Perigo, which we are saluting tonight, is a classic example of such partnership. And I think what academia is excellent in, and should be fostered more than it has been fostered over the years, is creativity. The music band. What I want is patentable products that are going through the process of phase one and phase two to add value. Is there evidence that that's working in Ireland? It is a bit about the blue skies research where 40 million or 50 million is invested in a particular researcher and it is okay with some boundaries around the research program but it is really we have a problem come to us with some innovative solution. What matters in biotechnology business is quality of the initial idea. And the quality of the initial creative idea can only be enhanced by having the humanities mixed with science. Thank you very much. Today, I have the greatest satisfaction in seeing the medicines that we make in Alexion improve the lives of patients who would not live were it not for our medicines. But I'd like to see a better way of making these medicines and using technology to produce more product in simpler ways. I want to see our teams in Ireland at the forefront of these advances. Thank you. The music bed.